Hi Sweaty Betties, Flick here from Sleek Ballet Fitness and one of the questions we get asked a lot is how can I improve my splits and as dancers we have to be able to do the splits, it's kind of one of those things that just goes without saying. So I'm going to give you my top tips now on how to improve yours, something that you can challenge yourself over these, over these next few weeks maybe as we're all finding ourselves a little bit more time on our hands in our own houses. So I want you to come down if you've got a mat, please put a mat down and just come to an all fours position to start with your fingers facing forward and your knees underneath your hips, just rotate your elbows round, draw your tummy in. Then stepping one leg forward, line your knee with your ankle. I want you to rock your body weight forward to stretch through your back hip and back hip flexor, through to the psoas, lengthening out through that back leg, compressing into the front hip. Draw your tummy through to your spine and rock back. Turn your toes up and see if you can lie your body gently down your thigh. So the splits front ways requires two areas of flexibility, both in the front leg and the back hip, particularly the hamstring, but also into the calf if we are flexing the foot. So we're just going to mobilize the body here in some slow movements, rocking forward and rocking back. The key thing will be our using our arms, our arm strength, rocking forward and rocking back. And then find one of those positions that feels tighter for your body. So it might be this rocking forward, it might be the back leg that feels it wants more release, or it might be that front hamstring past the back of the knee down into the calf that you feel just wants an extra breath. And wherever you are then, come to rock halfway between those positions. Roll your toes down and equalize your weight between each hand. So 50-50 into your fingertips, maybe you're pressing your palms down. Start to wiggle your front foot forward, leaving your body where it is. You can see that mine is still absolutely in the middle of my leg, so I've not rocked my body weight back. I'm still low over the front leg as I start to extend that front leg. Now this might be as far as you go, and if, if this is, this is really impressive, well done you want to still feel the stretch in the front leg and the back leg or you're starting to wiggle the back leg away now I'm still using my arm strength here to protect me dropping down into the splits breathe in and breathe out and as I breathe out I use the out breath to use my arm strength to guide my hips my pelvis down to the mat now here's the thing Naturally, our bodies want to cheat us out of stretches or movements that perhaps aren't so comfortable or easy for us. So a lot of times this happens, we roll off onto that back hip or we open up. So our shoulders and our hips, in fact, need to be square to our front leg for a true split. So again, if you're not there yet, lifting back up, trying to extend that back leg and using your arm strength to hold you into the position that you're at, the level that you're at. And then inch by inch, millimetre by millimetre, bending your elbows, you'll start to lower down day by day. You will get there. If you set yourselves 30 days, depending on how, off, how high off the floor you are, I know you'll be able to do it. Now point your front foot. Options, those of you that are down there or close, well done, to lie the front body down over that shin. Wherever you are to come out of it, roll onto that front hip, draw the back leg back and just give your legs a little shake, a little shimmy and a shake. We're doing that on the other side as well, always evening ourselves out. Fingertips forward, knees under hips and then stepping the foot forward, left leg. Now, one thing that is true is our bodies, all of our bodies aren't equally balanced. Rock back for me. So one leg will be stronger than the other. And normally that means it'll be perhaps a little bit tighter, less flexible, not always. So we want to create balance as dancers. We are always working both sides. We don't want an uneven body. That means that some of our technique would therefore be uneven. And as dancers, we want good technique to maintain healthy bodies, stay injury free. Okay, and the same thing, finding where feels nice to hold for you, either in that forward, back leg stretch or back getting your front leg a little bit of love and then weight into the hands start to walk those feet away left side for some of us well this is my left side it might not be yours maybe a trickier side it may not be see if you can stay lifted and remember shoulders over your hips breathe in use your arm strength gently bend your elbows and try not to cheat yourself out of the pose those of you that are down there well done impressive not an easy thing to do those of you that are getting there, keep going. Don't get frustrated. We've got all the time in the world to do this. Breathe in, breathe out. Forward over your leg. Point that front foot, lengthen those toes. We want long lines as dancers. If we're flexing the foot, we're working into the calf. But as a dancer, we want to lengthen that line out. 
to come out of it, rock onto that front hip. Give yourself a little hug, a little shake, do whatever you need to do. And that is what's gonna help you day by day get down into the front splits. Join me for more soon, sweaty betties, and take care.